we are at the glamping show 2023 and um, it's our now fifth glamping show we worked out yep. so we're excited to see all that's here and we will take you around with us hopefully get some prices as much as we can hope you have a good day with us we've just come in we've got our passes and got a copy of international glamping business magazine and now we're just having a look so logs if you want logs pitch up spas we're more interested in the actual structures really so we're going cool first one shepherd's hut into the wild you're not this is not Maybe oh, is. balconies and fine shepherds up. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. I suppose most of them have a proper staircase up, but if you can get a little deck area, that's quite a nice idea, isn't it? Oh, very good idea. Where are we? Are uh, into the wild UK? So it's shepherds up, safari tubs, accessories. Let's have a look. Cool. That is a yeah, it would be a nice office, wouldn't it? If you could just have that in your back garden. Happy days. So Black Sheep Shepherd's Huts are back at the glamping show. They've got a really nice big setup again this year. Um, so let's see if we can show you around one of these. Mm -hmm. so this is very similar to Camilla and Leon's Shepherd's Hut that they've got at Marsh Farm Glamping. In fact, it looks pretty identical. Um, nice little sink, kitchen area with a fridge, and the king size bed. This one is pretty massive and seems like you've got two separate entrances. Unless it's two put together, I can't fathom it. Oh, you've actually got a separate bedroom in here. I'll go around. Living with... Oh, that's quite nice. Here we are at the coal bunker. Come to see our favourite glamping players man, Chris, who has brought two massive coal bunkers with him this time, so I'm excited. Yeah, you're doing right. Yeah, good, thank good. you. Good. Come to see the new... Uh... Yeah. So which is the latest and greatest? This, is it this, this one here? This new one, yeah. It's more of a leisure base one. It looks um, a bit more luxury. Did you mind showing us around? <laughs> oh, it's nice, Chris. I yeah. like it. Two berths uh, with an option of the sofa bed. Um, yeah, it's quite, quite luxurious. It's, it is. Um, Kitchen, bathroom, things. You've got a built-in blind. Sorry. Oh, it's like a proper house, isn't it? Really. Oh, nice. And you've got a nice bathroom. Very nice. This is what. Um, this is what I wish we had got. Yeah. Very clever. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, isn't that what John's got in his swimming pool? Yeah. It's a nice touch, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you like anything less? That, that's a beautiful touch. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. It's it's against the green of uh, wood burners, like it was then. Yeah. Well, it does a bit, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. But... It's so Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> so, how, how much are we talking, Chris, for um, roughly yeah. ballpark? Yeah. The kit starts from 32,000. That's the lot. Um, I think that's really good. Yeah. yeah. For retirement. You're going to retire to here, are you? So something like this would do really well for retirement. So, it's yeah. Need. Yeah, it's true. I could live in here. For 32,000. Um, I know, it's amazing. Chris is just loading us up with the goodies. So uh, we've now got really cold bunker mugs and some water. Happy days. Thank you very much. So I really like the fact that they've added this section on for the sofa and then you've got the double bed up the top there. And then obviously signature wood burner. And then we've got um, toilet in there, the sofa in there, it's lovely. So we've got Luna Valley Pods who have party pod, okay, so 25,000. I mean, this is basically just an add on, isn't it, to have as a bar. I mean, this is really cool. You have your pizza oven. I think this is the way glamping is going now, more of like have your hot tub in here. It is very secret garden glamping esque, isn't it? <laughs> Don't say that too. <laughs> so that's cool. So that twenty five grand well, includes the hot tub and well, everything, everything, as you see it, everything as you see it. The shower. Yeah, that's cool. So Luna Valley Pods traditionally have done these kind of um, pod glamping things. Um, I mean, you can have a chandelier in a glamping pod, obviously. So the bedroom is in a separate room. Got plenty of space in here. TV, I mean... I mean sorry. Kitchen. 
and the bathroom's in there. So these type of standard wigwam type pods, 12 and a half grand. And then obviously you've just got the space to do whatever you want, you'd get a double bed in there. And So our friends have just bought one of these, patio heaters, run off wood pellets. They're really, and they look super cool as well. Um, no, they do work really well because we've sat and had a barbecue with them. <laughs> it's been really nice. So these guys are ground screw company. Um, obviously like there are some amazing massive ground screws you can do and it does make it easier because you don't have to do any more digging but it's crazy expensive but you know worth it to stop the digging so this is similar to a shepherd's hut <clears throat> um on wheels obviously but is really different like i think if you're going for shepherd's huts this is going to be a bit more interesting i guess you've got this nice canopy Let's try and get in here. So you've got a bed, bathroom in there. Yeah, so but it must be the same Yeah, So I don't know where we are now, but this is a very similar type lodge. I in controversial fashion wouldn't call that a glamping. I'd call it a lot like a lot of these are like lodge. They're luxury lodges. homes almost. Or luxury tiny yeah. homes. This is nice more picnic room. bench, yeah. Nice solid picnic bench. I feel like you could make that, Brian. Just a load of sleepers. Well, it's a lot of sleepers. It, yeah, yeah of, probably cost you five and a quid in wood. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is quite nice. Let's have a look in here. Hi. Hi. Right. Oh, I see. Nice. It's got nice high ceilings. I'm just going to sneak through. Sorry. Um, and that's interesting way of doing the bed kind of in the middle. And then we always like to see the bathroom facilities, don't we? Nice big shower. On mains. Yeah, it's just a power shower, isn't it? Yeah. If you're after outdoor toilets, yes. I mean, we've upgraded a bit and we've got actual proper flushing toilets. Um, so I guess you can put anything in these that you like. Shower, urinal, that's a good idea. Hello. Hello. All right. Yes, good, thank you. Just um, showing everybody the outdoor toilet option. Brilliant, yeah. So presumably, like, you could do some composting, some, like, these are composting ones, aren't they? Yeah, we can fit some any normal. Type of toilet in any of our units. Yeah. So we can fit flushing loos in there, composting flushing, toilets, long drops. Shower and. Oh, long drops, no thanks. Uh, if, if you want them. <laughs> yes, of course. If that's all you can have, that's all you yeah. can have, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, cool. Now, I really like these fire pits. They were at the glamping show last year. I just think they're really cool. I'd love a personalised fire pit. Unfortunately, it can't stretch to it, but they're just really cool. So, W fire pits is where you want to go, really. They're just beautiful. <laughs> so, we've got another Shepherd's Hut similar timber building. Let's have a look in the shepherd's hut. So, oh, it smells nice in here, I must say. Um, toilet, shower. So we're still in shepherd's hut country. So this is Blackdown Shepherd's Huts who are near us and actually they always knock it out of the park with the world of shepherd's huts. So this is obviously their gigantic humongous shepherds are all connected together let's have a look are these the ones that are near uh, J yeah yeah, yeah. Ooh, wow well, this is amazing it's almost like it's taking inspiration from the rocket lodge yeah. oh yes because look at the ceiling that is just beautiful it is really nice and then you've got like your kitchen yeah. area here <laughs> and <laughs> Bathroom. Do you know it is a lot about interior design, isn't it? So you've got the glass in the middle, so you can conjoin the shepherds up together. Sorry, do you mind if I? Ah, copper bar. Yeah, you do go like go all out on the glamp and show. So, are you able to give me like a ballpark figure on how much this would be? Yeah. Absolutely. So uh, the hut itself is about 154, including that. Okay, yeah. Um, and then the verandas additionally are 29. Okay. Yeah. With all the kind of outdoor kitchen type everything. stuff, yeah. Because this yeah. is pretty cool, isn't it? To have... This is really nice with the undercover and the, yeah. and the fact that it's still like shepherd. Yeah, that you've got a proper outdoor kitchen here. Yeah. It's really nice. It's beautiful. 
Um, yeah, and interior design, like it's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> mm, that's very clever. And it locks in. Oh, yeah. Majorly space saving. Yeah, and then check this out. Watch this table. Okay, I'm watching. <laughs> Is that not just the greatest? That is really cool. I'm very impressed. Yeah. It's like amazing what you could do now with like <laughs> space saving design, isn't it? Yeah. So I take it you do have a bus. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I like the sink too. Okay, so this is Echo Dome. Is it Echo or Eco? Eco, Echo? Nobody knows. Have to ask I'll ask them. Um, but I'm unsure what's going on with the openness of it whether well, this is just to, just show, to show you, how, you yeah. how it's completely different i'm guessing this is plastic hubs yeah. no, I think it's aluminium. Okay. i don't know you can ask him okay so it's actually like a proper no canvas involved just yeah. or so what are these so these aluminium and what are these yeah. made of this is no, polycarbonate yeah and this is our sap okay we also have a laminate that you can choose from and glass oh wow okay yeah. The other thing as well is like a lot of the time, wow. <laughs> hits break to you a lot of the time in, in sport weather. It's got to rain. Yeah, oh yeah. Absolutely. Yes, you yeah. Want Kitchen area. Yeah, yeah. and then having walked no. about and you turn. Bathroom. Yeah. But yeah, it looks really nice, this one. This is lovely. And here's the mini one. Oh, there's actual barbecue in there. Cool. Here we go with the experiential world of glamping. Like, if you could put one of these next to a unit, yeah, so it would look really, really nice. cool. Wow, yeah, do you mind if I um, film oh, yeah. in here? Is that all right? Please help me. Feel like home. It looks lovely. Yeah, that's good. I think I saw you guys on YouTube. Oh, you might have done, yeah. <laughs> that, do you find that um, people, like glamping sites now, are going for things like this to like up their game in the world? I think, yeah, it's a good like communal space for, you know, to stand out from the, the other glampers and the other campers. So having yeah. something like this, especially with like our bar building, you know, it's a good sort of area where you can meet other people that are on site or, you know, if you've got a big family. Yeah. Somewhere that you can step out of your yurt or... Well, and for a lot of people, it's about where you can have your Instagram photo, isn't it? Like if you, you someone go. can take a photo of you sat on your bar with your optics behind yeah, and stuff. there you go. We've it's... got LED lighting that goes underneath there as well. Yeah. Sunlight Forest, actually Garden Dollars. Um, can you hit me with the ballpark figure on how much so these are? This one here, so you get everything included. It's just over 21,000 and we install and deliver it as well. You get to choose all your colours. You get all the bar unit. There's an undercounter fridge. You get the shelving lights, heaters, everything. Okay, wow. What about this one? This one is 14,000, so it's a little bit smaller. Um, again, you can choose the customizer, all the colors and controls. Yeah. This is, a, this is a new in the UK, so it's a porch awning for a five meter bell tent. Ah, so. okay, so we've got a five meter bell tent, as it happens, ah, um, which we pop up for events and stuff. But this means that you can then have an extra that extra space just to extra space. Yeah. If you're, if you're if you're camping in the wet, you've got somewhere to put your boots. If you you've got somewhere to put your uh, your chairs and your, your bits and pieces. Okay. Yeah, that's a really good picture of it. Yeah. Um, right now, we're at Landpod Village. Um, they don't seem to have gone quite as big as they were last year. They had the double decker one last year, um, but this basically can set up your whole glamping site with land pods. Um, oh look, they've got their own glamping chair 23 quite a bit, that's cool. Anyway, I digress. So when, this is like their tiniest one, the cozy cocoon. So you're talking four and a half-ish for this and the sides will come up and it's essentially just a bed. But then you can have all the extras as well. So this one's a bit bigger. That's got sleeping for four. Um, and then you've got your whole power pod here um so you can power everything fridge and a toilet pod so they've thought of everything right let's go and see the true dome's family who are here with their seven meter today i don't know okay let's show you in true dome's show dome today so um, I'm interested to hear the new features in a minute from Kelda. Um, so I really like this hanging rail. Hello, how are you? Yeah, good. I'm just doing the tour. You can um, show me all the. New, I want to know all the new things in a minute. <laughs> um, so yes, nice bed, nice view, 
um, and they've got their stargazing thing and I think the cool thing, new thing, is the fact that you could magnetic up so that you can close it or open it, which is a really nice feature. Um, and hi! Um, got a wood burner here, it all looks very beautiful, cosy, TV stand, um, kitchenette, opening window, which is, we're going to get on our next stone definitely, because it's a really cool feature. Um, yeah, looks good. So their new addition is a bathroom pod. So this is an outdoor bathroom pod. So they've got basically a wet room um, and they're selling it as an outdoor addition. Um, so they've got a simply toilet, or presumably if you could put a normal toilet in here if you were kind of on grid. Um, and it's quite a spacious bathroom. So yeah, I'm down with that. This is another tiny house on wheels. So that gets you around the, a lot of the planning missions. Um, Sorry, do you mind if I sneak in? So, ooh, am I allowed up there? This is cool. So there's a whole bedroom up here. That is super duper. I feel like I've made it muddy now. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, so you've got ooh, a bathroom in here. And another bedroom. That is very exciting. And you've got a whole like double doors here. So yeah, this um this is pretty cool. Right, green down shepherd's huts. Um oh, that's nice. I like we had it So this bathroom. is what they had last year. Do you remember because I told Camilla about it and she's not done an outdoor bath now, hasn't she? Um so I think this is a good idea to have it covered over. Yeah, it does make a big difference. Hi! So I like the fact that Green Down have got all their prices everywhere on these shepherd's huts. So um, let's just show you in this one quickly. It's pretty standard. I think let's go in the bigger one because that's probably going to be more interesting. I like this nice big fire bowl. Um, so let, let's go and look in their double hut because don't forget Black Down were like 150,000. They said this starts at 79,000 which is a bit better so we've got lounge area bath through shower room it's a nice kitchen isn't it it is a nice kitchen yeah that's the thing about them they're all very beautiful they're all beautiful Sorry. and you so this is a double one so you've got a bath in your bedroom <laughs> i don't know about that really this is interesting, you've got a rental example, so 50% occupancy, nightly rate, £175 a night. What are we going? Hotel, £350 a night. So you reckon total hut profit year, 91000 a 10 hut site, 912 are you kidding me? You'd never get that, not in a million years. You might do, depending where you are. So five hut site, right, we've got five. 190,000, we are not making yeah, but you've that. you've got to halve that. So, so you've got to halve that number because we only open for six months a year. Yeah, true. So here's the Lotus Bell. I do like them, they're very pretty. I'm just gonna whiz in, there's a lot of people in here, so sorry. Hi, I'm just coming in with my camera, is that all right? Um, oh, it's pretty. Oh, that's clever. Nice, love it. Here we are at Clear Sky Safari Tents. So these are kind of the market leaders in safari tents, I would say at the moment so uh, let's have a quick look in here so they've got kitchen normal fridge nice big corner sofa everything is kind of wooden in interior so oh you can sleep three in here so that's cool that's a nice arrangement of bedding and then a double bed in there so it's what, seven, seven metres long to there? Yeah, plus you've around. And then a bathroom in there. This is the Woody 2. This is massive, this one. Yeah, it is wider. So you've got a similar kitchen area. And then dining area. There's a shower room in here. 
and then you've got two, two, oh, two bedrooms. I think I like the other one better. So Crossover Lodge, this is um, Clear Sky have taken over Crossover Lodge, um, yeah, from Glamping Innovation. So they're now the um, supplier for Crossover Lodge in the UK. So I always did think this was pretty cool. Yeah, we just had a look. Yeah, you want to get up, yeah, get up for that. Got so you've got, so you've got a nice big bedroom area. The ceiling's quite interesting. And then um, we've got kitchen. And then a bathroom, I think. I'm smiling in the I mean, you're very smiley. Yeah, it's cool. I like the fact that you can do a nice backdrop behind the bed. Where are we? De DeWard. And they've got a dome, a rival dome. Let's have a look around. So, ah, I've seen this kind of insulation before. So they've built a bathroom pod in here. Um, and, oh, their curtains. That's an interesting way of doing the curtains, but I think I prefer yeah um interesting let's see i've got seven percent battery oh so it's just literally tucked behind here so uh, we really like this awning oh it's zipping oh, that's flat flavor. yeah that's really clever actually okay yeah interesting so it's nice this is kind of sail shaped. Let's have a look. Oh, so they've got a whole level up there. Thirty-five thousand. Okay, that's interesting. It's got a similar kind of insulation in here as it did in the geodome. Good sized kitchen. Oh, and they've got bunk beds in here. Do you know, I feel this sign, it will all be okie dokie. It's the sort of thing I would say. So what's, oh, I find it weird though, because I worry, Brian, I don't know about you, you're doing a poo, yeah. this is all gonna absorb the smells and also presumably the steam from the shower and get damp. They've been extracted, but is that gonna cut it? I have no idea. No, nobody knows. Now, you don't see many yurts anymore, but yurts for life are here with their yurt. Let's go and have a look. So, yeah, it's nice. It doesn't have the middle section, which is good. Nice big, sorry. And then, I'm not, you're not on it, sorry. <laughs> you were made in Devon, oh, that's very good. Made by real people. Real people in Devon. Real people. Not far from us, that's oh, good. where are you? Somerset. Oh, it's a mini baby yurt. If you just want a bedroom for a kid, how cute would that be? I've officially lost my husband. Has anybody seen him? Oh, he's over there talking to Calder. <laughs> Let's go. So this is like some sort of tree tent thing, but potentially you don't actually have to have a tree. Interesting. So it's just a bed. Ooh, cool. So I like the fact that the bath's under cover. Yeah. That's cool. And then yeah, so is it a completely grass roof? Yeah, that's cool. Let's see if we can quickly look in here. So there's a bed. Kitchen. Bathroom. Yeah. So this is something I have not seen before. Tree tent. Oh, this is tree tents, but it's is it? well, tree tents international, as in the the company. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, we're interesting. I just said everything. So you've so got, you got, got a little window up there. It's a really interesting shape, but yeah, lower price point of about thirteen grand. That's a full Blimey, that is like a kind of cantilever container home thing going on. Like, this is not glamping, I hate to say. <laughs> it's actually just generally not glamping. 
Um, I wonder if we're allowed in. It looks like they're still in the in the construction phase of it. So when we came to this earlier, they were still building it because they only got here at six in the morning because they got held up in customs because they came over from Poland yesterday. So um, we're hoping we might be able to go inside now as they've kind of finished their construction. But um, I think they did very well to get this done today. So this will Hundred and twenty thousand. Are they still there? Yeah. Still I think they're still setting up. Yeah. <laughs> So Hunter Outdoors are a load of shade sale options for glamping and I think they're also providing a bit of a coffee shelter as well in the bad weather. Glamping on water, so you can float this on your lake. Oh, that's very exciting. Sorry. So it's a, a pod. So it's a marine pod. So you can float it on your lake. Yeah, I do. Ah, oh, swimming pool. I haven't got a lake. <laughs> I've got a pond. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, wow, is this a new market then, do you think? Yes, I mean, it's been coming for a while. And yeah. We discovered, because we've been in the marine industry for 20 years, and we've decided to enter the sort of pod market. And yeah. Combine the both, so we've come up with a marine pod. That's amazing. Wowzers. So we're just going to come and see our favourite magazine, which is Open Air Business. So you need to be subscribed to Open Air Business because um, you'll get a magazine um, all about the glamping industry trends. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> so this is Glamp House's Triangle. So it's basically a canvas A-frame, um, which is cool. Wow. Hi. This is cool. So there's kitchen area in there. And a, oh, there's a bar. Can I can I go up? Is that okay? Yeah. Nice, they've got twin beds up here, but presumably you could put a double up here if you wanted to. And closing curtains, that's good. That presumably is a slightly smaller version. And then they've also got like a safari tent style one. Which looks actually quite massive. So this is a bedroom. Is this one big room? Okay. I think they could have done a lot more with it, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So I'd say this is very reasonably priced. Exhibition price five thousand pounds. That's cheap in the world of this kind of safari tent, isn't it? How much was the A-frame tent? Thirteen. Oh yeah, fifteen normally, but thirteen thousand. Which yeah, is pretty reasonable if you're in that kind of market. Yeah. So, um, cabina. So I like the um, splashback on the kitchen. That's really cool. Ooh. Bathroom. Do you want me out of the way? Oh no, no, you're fine if you don't mind. <laughs> I don't come with it. Just so seven metre thirty grand ish. Yeah, it goes right down. So we do them just long enough to get a bed in, and they're they're more like yeah. eighteen grand, you know. And so this has got kitchen and bathroom in. So this has got the old bathroom. Um, so I, I find it weird you call this a dome. It's kind of the I wouldn't. Car. I wouldn't call it a dome. No, okay. Yeah. It's like a. So yeah, we 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 relish now. Okay, so yeah, got a bed. Yeah, got a shower storage, room. Shower. Yeah, and yeah, plenty of storage. You got a boiler here. So yeah. Run on a spoke hideout. So this is cool. So this is another kind of similar to a shepherd's hut, I suppose, but different feel to it. And that it's on wheels. Yeah, it's kind of like a modern take on a shepherd's hut. It doesn't have to come on wheels. We do them as pods, not on wheels. Okay, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's got that sort of that, that take. But can, yeah, can come on wheels so that can be moved around. I like this kind of picture window you've got. Yeah, that you can sort of, then. It sort of makes it draws it through, trying to get light through the whole. Yeah. Space. You know, like the big windows is a big thing for us. Like, you know, just just create a light, airy space. You kind of you're always staying somewhere you want. Want that. If you win nature, you want to be there. Obviously. Yeah. On site a little bit, but. 
That's really nice, yeah. yeah. And how much is this particular unit? So this starts at twenty eight and a half thousand. Okay. Um and then it's extras for things like yeah. solar panels and wood burners. Yeah. Um, and yeah, stuff like that. Okay. Nice. And that is a wrap for the Glamping Show twenty twenty three. What did you think, Brian? I really enjoy walking around and looking at all the new innovative structures and getting ideas of what we could do next. But it really did seem a bit heavy on the tiny homes. I really like tiny homes, don't get me wrong. But if it's a glamping show, well, I don't know. It's a man. There was, there was still canvas structures, yeah, which is quite was. good. Um, but it's made you think maybe we need to start a glamping site with actual tiny homes tiny homes that's what i'd really like to do so we have our main site tractors and cream but then we have i know trucks and butter <laughs> as our sister site it's a rubbish name <laughs> it's up for debate but yeah it was really nice everybody spotted the glamping show it's really nice to catch up with people um and so the next glamping show we're going to will be denver so next time That's we see the true exciting. domes guys will be when we're in america so we're really excited about that so don't forget to subscribe so that you get all the info on the america trip because that is going to be amazing epic.